Oh, Sandman, let me know when you're back. I'm back. I don't know why this keeps happening. So every time I quit out of this game, the game, like, chides me about it. The game gets sad about it. Oh! I didn't do anything. Is this like a projector screen? Oh, there's a slot here. It looks like paper or something might come out from it. Can I put a thin lens in it? Okay, so that- ooh, 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 one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, yeah! How do we know which is which, though? I'm just arbitrarily putting lenses in here. Uh, well, I guess that wasn't the right combination, fan man. What would the right combination be? I'm gonna keep wandering around and see if I get a hint for that, and if I don't, I'll come back and just keep trying stuff. Actually, I'm exaggerating. The effects of the pill wears off in like a week. But all you have to do is just take another pill. This is going to help so many people. And also make me rich and famous and cool. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. Hello, welcome to the stream, dude. Dancer Star, what happened? Why are 19-year-old sisters such assholes? I don't know, I'm a 26-year-old sister and I'm also an asshole, so like, it just comes with the territory of being a sister. On behalf of all sisters. I'm sorry. Is that the only place I could go into? Oh, I thought that there were more things that I could explore. Oh, this, here's a thing. Here's a thing I can explore. What's down here? Is there another dying person? This sounds like dying person music. Oh! Ellie Page, thanks for the follow, my dude. You're a cocktail now, how's it feel to be a bird? If I click on this... Oh, it'd be funny if I clicked on this and then the game shut off. Like an exit. Like I have to X. Wait, <gasps> question! So this game is really meta, right? So, if I'm in this room and then I hit X, what happens? And then I open it back up. Uh. I'm back. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Am I the only one who's seeing this? Hmm. I thought maybe something would happen, but nothing happened. <clears throat> Hmm. What's up with that room, guys? What's up with that spoopy room? I thought that was such a good idea. I thought I had such a good idea. Uh, it looks like I can unlock this door. That's unlocked. That's good. What's over here again? Kill the person! So the library is up your head, my We're back to the... Back to the library, okay. Travel. Okay, I wanna go back to the back alley really quick and then go into Boy's room and then read his little clover book. It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. Why can't I read it? It's shiny! Look at it, it does like a shiny shine. Does it not do a shiny shine? Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought it did a shiny shine. <clears throat> mm. Alright, let's go back to the lens thing. Figure that out. Vendor Street, Library Street, Factory. I wanted to go to Vendor Street. Um, just really quick, I'm gonna check over here to see if there's any rooms that I didn't realize I could go into. I- isn't that- Oh, goodness! Uh, the Messiah literally god himself just break into my house! Uh-oh, 
Was that your- Yeah, heard me! Oh, I forgot that I stole these lenses from him. Maybe he can give me some information about them, right? Crazy creation, goodbye, sorry, I had to leave! The end game! Wah! Yeah, heard me. Oh, keeps happening. Oh, sorry about breaking into your house. We didn't actually break anything, but... Batman said I should take these plastic discs for some reason. Should we put them back? Oh, it's okay. Keep them. I wouldn't have to- uh, I wouldn't have been able to fix that machine anyway. Oh, give us hints. Thanks for taking them off my hands, I guess. Lenses, that is. The well, scientists want me to use them to fix that camera in the photo booth, but, uh, you can imagine how that went. I'm just glad I didn't break anything. Hey, Dead by the Lag, welcome to the stream. He did not give me any hints as to how to fix this stuff. There's no- okay, delicately thin lens. I'm assuming that's number one, right? Like, if we go thin to thick. And concave lens, and convex le lens. Let's do concave. And let's do convex. And let's do thick. No. Well, I guess that wasn't the right combination, fan man. Maybe we should literally Google how camera lenses work, right? Exploded view of camera with lenses. Right, because there's a couple different lenses in a camera, and so maybe I literally need to figure that out. L1 lens, L2 and L3 lens. What does that mean? This isn't helping. Uh, order lenses in a camera? Like, I might as well just Google the, the solution, right? Instead of Googling this stuff. This is dumb. This isn't right at all. Heather Pin says, Beth, keep talking to people. They'll give you hints. I talk to so many people, though. Oops. Oops, I didn't mean to. Okay, I'll just try something randomly. Keep talking to people that give me hints. Oh, it's the photo guy. Yeah, maybe he'll tell me. Are you here for your photos? No? Alright. I'll just, uh, stand here. Well, can you explain to me what's going on with these lenses, though, maybe? A little bit? Oh, Bambi! Oh no! I'd love to see the end of one shot, but I gotta go to the ER and have fun with the rest of the game. I will also be- are you okay? I hope that you are safe. Ah. Oh, you're not helping. You're not helping. Do their heads give me any hints? No. No, I won't forget about needing a library card. <sighs> Heatherpin, is there one person in particular that I should talk to? Who tell me what to do? Horny Torty Turtle says, You could do it, Beth, I believe in you! Uh... <laughs> that doesn't help me how to use this, right? Butts, you guys. So much butts. Dictator Fatima says, have you talked to the people outside? I did, but are they giving me, like, secret hints and I'm not picking up on it? Mm. Mm. I feel like this is somebody who could give me more information if they realized that I needed to, the information from them, right? But they're not giving me any information. Uh, you butthead. You need the card first? Vendors give hints. Okay, smells kinda nice. What is it? Breaded fish, I toasted the bread myself, I see. Good hint, bro. 
good hint. Hey kid, want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. That's not a hint. It's not a hint. No, don't give me the answer. I swear to god, are their heads the fucking hints? Like the things that they're selling. I need the card first. I need to get the card. Where did? Okay, give me one hint for where to get the card. Because I do want to try to beat this game. I just need one, one tiny little push in the right direction. One tiny little hint push. The card store. Shut up, Cal! <laughs> Shut up, Cal! Evening news! Maintenance is struggling! Fix the major pipeline collapse in the North Sector! Likelihood of imminent water shortage in inner city now 84.2%! Hmm. Hint who told you where to find the library? Silver. Dr. Silver did. Travel to. Factory. gonna happen. Oh. Oh, uh, New York. Yeah, hey, you're back. Can I help you with anything else? Yeah. Uh, do you know how I could get a library card? We did it, guys. I did it with your help, with your hints. Hey, Mort, welcome to the stream. Sorry, I started streaming while you were streaming, or else I would have popped into your stream. I had, like, a little stream party. Uh, excuse me. That's for you. A library card. You have to ask the library for that. Well, I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the only one who gives out the library card. It's a catch-22. Oh, really? Yeah, that sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Oh. Wait, I know. I could just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. I got connections, you know? Oh, wow. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot, the front desk library bots have facial recognition, and my photo on the card won't match yet, unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Uh, that feels, that sounds like it's uncomfortable. That was a joke. Oh, sorry, I'm not good at jokes. Remember that one time that I tried to make a joke? Well, actually, it was pretty funny. I am good at jokes, I take it back. Who knows, maybe you get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find someone to take a photo. Don't have a look yourself. Um, okay, well that, that clears up why that camera thing should make sense. Can't fast travel fucking fine. Get out of my way, struggle bot. Struggle boy. Okay, travel back to the Fender Street. Kip's library card. Oh, her name's Kip? Kip Silvertongue? Huh. Okay, hold on to that and show it to him. Oh, you free photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for, well, reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. Marissa says help will be given in Beth's chat to those who ask for it. Uh, well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center's right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Yeah, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Well, maybe Fab Ed and I could figure it out for them. That's good. I would certainly help out with expired IDs. Like me. Okay, now this... Now this makes sense. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Uh... I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Yay, fucking love puzzles! I love puzzles! Uh, okay, so the bulgy lens? Uh, concave and convex are bulgy, right? Or are you talking about the thick one? Um, the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends. Writing it down. 
Get your pen and paper, Beth. I did. I got it. Uh, you used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories! Went through thick and thin together! And by that I mean concave lens did! Concave went through thick and thin. We went through thick and thin together. The concave lens. Goodbye, Emily Nightwolf. Went through thick and thin. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Uh, what's Toast's name? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Thin between two curved. All right, and then cut boy. Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both the curved lenses. Thick left of both... Curved. <gasps> gay trans boy! <laughs> As a follow, thanks for the follow, gay trans boy! You're a cocktail now! How's it feel, be a bird? Okay. So, the bulgy lens is on the end. I don't know what she means by bulgy. Would that be thick? Concave through thick and thin. So that means that the concave is going to be in between the thick and the thin one. The thin one is between two curves, which makes sense because a concave is a curved lens, and then thick is the left of both curves. So I'm assuming that the thick lens would go right here, right? Oh no, I messed it up. I take that back. Oh shit, I messed it up. Hold on, I gotta just put things randomly in here. Because, um, one of the... No, did I mess it up? Oh, I think I... I'm wrong. Um... Bulgy lens on end. Temple Muffin, have you played this game before? Concave through thick and thin. The thin is between two curved lenses. Thick is left of both curved lenses, so it makes sure that the thick would be on the left side. Um, then concave through thick and thin. So con concave. Oops. I think this is what it is. I think I was I was actually right to put the thick one on the far left. So thick lens here. Concave would be next, thin one here, and then convex here. <gasps> it worked! Guys, it worked! Hell yeah! You were right, Temple Muffin! I like glanced at yours really quick and was like, no, don't look at it! But it was right. Let's take a picture. There we go. Uh, trees? Oh, my eyes! Is she smiling or is that just her mouth? No, she's always looking like that. There's a photo of me! Are my eyes always this big? I've never seen myself. A photo of Nico, look and it's so cute! I can't go buy those. Fan Man and I fixed the camera! Oh, sweet. Oh, I can use glitter glue! That's right! Okay, so photo of Nico. Back of the photo is covered in glitter and glue. Sticky photo. Put it on Kip's library card. The card has my face on it now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We did it. Now let's go to the library and just, just punch this robot in the dick with a library card. I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready. I waited so long. Yeah, head librarian. George is in your room upstairs. Authenticating Bjarkion. Executing facial recognition. Photo max. Shit, you're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Uh, oh, maybe I should have changed the name. 
Yay! Yay! We can keep going! Yay! That looks like an old phone. This trash can is full. A small tree. Is this another small tree? Is this her, the publisher? Dice face. Oh, why didn't I think of voices while I was gone? Oh, oh, glory be to me. I'm such a fool. Um, okay, dice face. I feel like dice face should be a little bit, a little bit glamorous. Oh, hello there. You must be the savior. And also the cutest darn thing I ever seen. Uh, oh, thank you. Can I help you with anything, sweetie? Uh-huh. I want to know what I should do next. I think I'm supposed to go to the tower. Oh, that's right. The tower. I know there's a small room that you can go into, but I'm afraid nobody knows how to get in it beyond that. Not even silly old me, who spent her entire life reading books about the world. Oh, uh, I think you need some help from Fan Man, but I don't know any details. I never found any books about this before. You'd think there'd be at least one book on this, but I guess that's just how it is. Goodness, this is quite the dilemma. Oh. Uh, can I help you with anything else, dear? If you have any question about books, well, I am a librarian. I do have a question. It's a strange journal. Oh, I do have this book. Uh, I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Really now? May I take a closer look, dear? Here. Oh! Oh my, where did you find this? Uh, somewhere in the barrens. Oh, we found it in a safe. Right, Fan Man? Hmm. I think I'm supposed to translate this for you. Is it alright if I hold on to the journal for now, sweetheart? It may take a little while, I'm afraid. I'll go for it. Oh. oh. That actually made me yawn. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, you poor baby. Goodness, you must have worked so hard to keep... Wait. You must have worked so hard to help us. I think you deserve a nap, no? A nap does sound nice. I have a guest room upstairs. It's just down the hall, to the right. Ah, uh, don't wear yourself out now, dear. The guest room is just down the hall, to the right. Okay, I'm okay. Uh, I'm gonna like look at all the things in your house first, and then I'll go to sleep. The computer screen says something about updated databases. It didn't talk to me though. Looks like a printer. A small bed. I guess she lives here. The studio apartment. These boxes are full of loose papers and notebooks. I see you've taken an interest in the manuscripts. But what are they for? Well, aren't you curious, little one? The author passed these drafts to me, you see. Hey, Dusty. Since I'm the head librarian, I am supposed to help publish these. But, oh, I haven't seen that gentleman lately. Which is quite strange. Usually he delivers these manuscripts to me faster than I can work on them. I guess now it just means I get a little more breathing room. <laughs> oh, when do I end this stream? Mike says he's headed home shortly. Oh, that's good. Right? I don't know. I am quite worried about him. I hope he hasn't fallen ill from all this stress. At least I got my hands full for the time being. Even though he stopped sending me things, it doesn't feel like he did at all. The pile of manuscripts I need... To proofread doesn't seem to get smaller. <laughs> this is the box I'll get to publish this week. Oh, oh, did I mention this gentleman's books are quite popular? You might be a little too young to understand them, but the older kids love them. Oh, uh, don't be ageist. What did you write about? Lots and lots of things. Everything from planets. Nope. From plants, to animals, to machines and robots. Some of his books even have pictures. I bet you enjoy pictures because you're a dumb little cat person. I hope that nice gentleman is alright. If I knew where he lived, I would have sent him some soup or a nice blanket. Hey, real strawberry soda, welcome to the stream. I hope, yep, yeah, she's alright, yep. There's a book here, I want to steal it. Oh, a book is poking out from the shelf. 
another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed in high spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Yeah, everybody- no one- <laughs> no one in chat trusts Dice Girl. Dice Librarian. Even though she has a nice voice. <laughs> uh, Rashi's? Rachi's? Rachi's was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped kisses. I mean notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day today musings. <laughs> his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. His older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Wasn't Calamus the bird boy that we met? Let's read all of these golden books. A book is poking out of the shelf. It's like a sketchbook. Oh, look at these drawings! Oh shit, these are all the things that I've had in my possession? No, I take it back. Wednesday, another stiff life of some objects on my- I still- <laughs> It's a still life, not a stiff life! This is why. Graphic design is important. Oh boy. Heather says, Beth, if Mike's on his way soon, you might not finish. Ugh. Might not finish, guys. I might have to, like, end the stream when I go to bed. Alright, let's explore this room, and then I'll end the stream, and then I will stream again sometime soon, and we'll have more fun. Another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Thursday, various sketches practice. A book is poking out. Hey! I think this book is actually about clovers. Oh, pretty. Oh, interesting. It's got all of the colors of the phosphoruses that we read about. The blue, the green, and the red. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Clovers? Ah. A book is poking out from the shelf. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a Russian voice box to make the voice sound more impactful. It's a radically different architecture for the mic microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. box full of notebooks. Oh, here's the bed. It's a stack of blank papers. Boxes full of manuscripts. More manuscripts, blank papers. Oh, it's a book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of a dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I couldn't describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote to the best of my abilities. I wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Whoa. 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 Guys! I have a theory. I think every time you play this game, you have a random chance of getting a different character. Based on whatever face of the dice looks at you. And we got like a very, very sweet one. Cause some of you guys in chat were like, oh, you, this is the sweet one. That's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. We got George five or George five. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. So you were right not to trust her cause she's got five personalities, I think, I'm assuming. All right. Uh, I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. And then the game dies. Da 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 da!